In this video, we're gonna take a look at the big bar by Base Blocks, which is literally a very big bar. Is it the right size for you to work on your pull-ups, chin-ups, levers, and more right at home? And how does it assemble and store? That's what I'm gonna cover in this video. All right, how's it going everybody? And welcome back to Minus the Gym. And for anyone new to the channel, my name is Ryan. I'm a certified personal trainer and I love body weight fitness and healthy nutrition. And I'm here to help you get fit and healthy at home with no gym necessary. And to be honest, I was not planning on getting a big bar when Base Blocks first released it. I already have the B bars and the base bar and I felt like I had everything I need because I have full size pull up bars. I have one in my backyard and I have one in my garage on the I-beam. So I really didn't have a purpose for this, but then I saw the comments coming in just day after day, people asking for a big bar review. So here we are. Now you've probably noticed that the bar is already assembled and behind me right there, but I recorded the whole assembly. And really this is the most involved base blocks product that I've assembled so far, including the base bench. This was a little more involved than the base bench. It does come with a wrench, an Allen wrench, and many screws and some pins. And basically the way that it installs is that you have these T stands that have a push pin on them. And you release that push pin, you fold down the T stands and put the push pin back in after you line up the holes. Once the T stand is assembled, you have these connectors that you fasten to the T stands with the Allen wrench and wrench and some screws that come with caps. Then you have some uprights that attach to the connectors in the same way. You're using the screws with the caps. And once those are attached, you take the U-bar and you put it on top of the uprights. Now that was actually the most challenging part for me. And I realized that the trick is that you need to bring one side down and then the other, and then go back to that side and back to that side and just switch back and forth between the two sides. And eventually you will get it to go down and line up the holes. And the U-bar connects with the click pins, just like the B-bars and the base bar come with. Then the last step is you connect two crossbars with an Allen wrench across the bottom. And those crossbars are gonna help make it really sturdy. Now you're probably wondering, what are the height measurements of this big bar and is it right for you? You know, maybe taller individuals are wondering if this is what they've been looking for. Well, at its full height, like it is right now, that is 81 inches. And I will put metric on the screen as well. So I mean, yeah, this is a really tall freestanding pull-up bar and a lot of people who are taller might think that this is the answer that they've been looking for. But I just want to mention that like when you see me doing pull-ups on this dead on, like from the front, it might look like my body is fully extended, you know, like my body's straight and it is, but what you're not seeing, if I were to turn the pull-up bar sideways and adjust the camera so you can see this from a side angle, you can see I'm actually leaning back and I'm engaging my hips and my core a lot. So I'm keeping my body more, at an angle, right? And that angle is what's allowing me to kind of go down all the way. So I'm 5'10 and a half, about 5'11 when I'm wearing shoes, and I can't go into a full dead hang. Like th this is not that high of a pull-up bar. I still have to engage some hip flexion. I have to lean back a little bit so that when I hang from it, my feet aren't touching the ground. Now, there is a secret other setting that Base Blocks mentions in their assembly video and in their instruction manual that if you basically put the U-bar directly into the connectors instead of into the uprights, you can get it down to 52 inches, which is actually the same as the high setting on the B-bars. So what exercises can you do on this? Well, I would say just about any exercises you would do on a standard pull-up bar, right? So obviously pull-ups and chin-ups, and you can work on your front lever, you can work on your back lever, you can work on skin the cat, you know, that, you know, German hang, that's a lead up to the back lever, but uh, anything you would do on a standard pull-up bar, you can even hang rings on this too. Just be really careful because keep in mind that the rings, the straps can actually slide off the bar. So you want to make sure you don't go too wide with the straps. So hopefully that clarifies, you know, which exercises you can do on this bar. It's pretty much any exercises you would do on any full size pull-up bar, uh, except for like explosives and kipping exercises uh, because it's freestanding just like all the other base blocks products it's not really meant for that stuff it'll wobble it, it's very sturdy don't get me wrong it's very sturdy and stable but it's just not meant for anything explosive also worth mentioning is the fact that like all the other base blocks products like the b bars and the base bar this is a pretty thick bar 
It's about two inches thick, and I love the matte finish, like the, the paint job that they do on it. It's kind of a rougher paint job. It's really good for grip. But for beginners, you might find the bar to be a bit thick. So keep that in mind. It's great for grip strength, for you know, strengthening the forearms and the muscles in your hands. But um, you know, as a beginner, you might find it to be a bit challenging. The next point is the way that it stores. All right, the storage of this is basically all you can do is fold up those T-stands, which are the feet of the big bar. You can release the push pin and fold them up so that it's narrower at the base. It's not quite as wide. And although that's easy to do and it does make it narrower, it's still gonna be an 81 inch tall pull-up bar in whatever space you store it in. So like, if you're worried about the aesthetics of your, your living room or whatever space you're gonna store it, it's not gonna tuck away into a closet. It's not gonna tuck away under a bed or anything like that. It's not designed for that. This is more the kind of equipment that you would have in a dedicated workout space. Like I have my garage and a part of my basement uh, dedicated to fitness, it's ideal for that, where you can just tuck it in a corner and it doesn't look out of place. But if you were thinking you could hide it easily from company, it's not like that. All right, so I'm trying to keep this video very short and concise because I didn't want to waste a lot of your time. I've talked about the assembly of the big bar, the exercises you can do on it, and of course the storage. And that's usually what I cover in these product reviews. I hope it was helpful to you if you were thinking about buying the big bar. If you were and you, were, you found it helpful, please hit that like button because that helps me out in return. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I don't just do product reviews. I talk about general fitness, you know, give coaching advice. I even do workout routines here on the channel. And I talk about nutrition. So stay tuned, all right? And I'll see you in the next video.